Welcome to another video in this special video series I'm doing all about how to wholesale and flip houses during and as a result of the COVID crisis. Now a lot of changes are happening and it's important you stay up to speed so you can adjust and adapt quickly. Right now speed is the name of the game and today's video I'm going to show you how to get contracts with sellers without ever seeing the properties in person. With the coronavirus epidemic right now and even post coronavirus, being able to accurately and confidently get contracts with sellers without having to physically see the properties is crucial to your success. As always, I'll break it down in detail for you and even share with you my step-by-step -step virtual walkthrough guide. All of that and more coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Motivated Seller Scripts so you can talk to, email, and text sellers with confidence. Download it now at freesellerscripts.com. If you're new here to the channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. So this is the sixth video I've released in this special video series about how to wholesale and flip real estate during and post coronavirus. Now the game is changing and I'm here to help you navigate through and come out victorious. I've created a coronavirus playlist and I'll put that playlist link in the description below. Today's video is especially relevant with the current coronavirus epidemic where it's difficult to meet with sellers and look at properties. Maybe it's a quarantine or a lockdown, or maybe the seller doesn't want you bringing coronavirus in his home and getting your germs everywhere, or maybe it's the other way around and you don't want to go into his coronavirus infested house. For me personally, I'd rather lick a doorknob in China than go into a stranger's house, but not physically seeing properties create some big challenges when wholesaling and flipping real estate. I mean, can you wholesale a property without seeing the property in person and doing a walkthrough as well as meeting the seller in person to negotiate and execute a contract? Isn't that how it's been done? Isn't that the way we've always done it? Actually, the answer is no. You don't have to see the properties and meet the sellers in person. I've been wholesaling and fixing and flipping houses remotely or virtually without ever physically seeing the properties for years long before China manufactured and mass distributed coronavirus. Now, the idea of virtually wholesaling real estate is not a new idea. It's been around a while, but now it's become extremely relevant with COVID, and I believe it will become even more prevalent in the future, even once we get past coronavirus and return to normal life. Virtual real estate will become the new normal. That means if you don't wanna become obsolete and get left by the wayside, you need to learn how. And to help you get started, I created a step-by-step -step guide to wholesale houses virtually, and I'll give it to you for free. Just go to virtualwholesaleguide.com. And I also did a four-part video series here on the channel. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description below for you. So in this video, let's break down how to do a property walkthrough or inspection without you physically seeing the property. Now, first of all, Let's be clear about why a property walkthrough is so important in order to get a contract with a private seller, and then I'll explain how to handle it virtually. There are actually four reasons. The first reason is that you wanna see the condition of the property so that you can determine the estimated repair cost. Now, in most cases, the properties are distressed and they're going to need some level of repairs done, whether minimal or extensive. As a wholesaler, once you get a contract with a seller, you're going to assign that contract to a cash buyer who is then going to make those repairs and rent it or flip it to a retail buyer. Being able to determine the cost of repairs is necessary in order to calculate your buy formula and come up with an accurate offer price. Now the problem is most people overcomplicate estimating repairs. For more help on how to quickly calculate the cost of repairs, I did a video where I break down my proven algorithm for estimating repairs on any house in under 60 seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. I'll put the link to the video in the description box below for you to watch later. The second reason why a property walkthrough is important is to understand the layout or the flow of the house. A bad floor plan can kill a deal and it can make a house very undesirable. For example, having to walk through a bedroom to get to another bedroom, or the kitchen is too small and it can't fit a table, or the ceiling height is really low, or you have to go outside to access the basement, things that would really hurt the resale value, and a property walkthrough ensures you get a good house. Now, the third reason to do a property walkthrough is to check out the area, the neighbors, you know, the street and the neighborhood. 
Some markets, especially heavily populated areas like Pittsburgh or Philadelphia, the values can change literally from street to street. Physically going to the property helps you understand how desirable the location is. And the fourth reason to physically go to a property is to meet the seller to negotiate and execute a contract. Now, these four things are important, but it doesn't mean that you have to do it. When it comes to repairs, layout, and neighborhood, the next best thing to see in the property in person would be to have someone provide you detailed picture and video of the property. In fact, if I had enough pictures and video that showed me everything I need to know and see, I could do my same analysis without leaving my home. The key is getting good, detailed, accurate photos and video, and that's why I created a detailed property walkthrough guide, including instructions on how to properly take pictures and video. Now we're gonna review this in a minute, so keep watching. This can be done one of two ways. The first, which is my preference, is to hire a local freelance photographer or videographer to go to the property. With proper instructions, I usually pay $25 to $50 for a full set of photos and videos. Now, I usually can find someone on Craigslist pretty quickly and easily. The second way to get a full detailed set of photos and videos is from the seller directly. Now, this can prevent some challenges if the seller isn't too tech savvy, but with most people becoming more and more comfortable with smartphones, it's less of an issue. The key is having very clear directions, which is why I created this document right here called Step-by-Step -step Instructions for Taking Photos and Video of a Property. Now, whether you hire someone to go to the property or have the seller do it, you give this to them and it explains exactly what you're looking for. So let's take a quick look. It says, this document serves as detailed instructions to conduct a virtual walkthrough of the property to get an accurate depiction of the layout and condition of the house and neighborhood by using pictures and video. The intent is for a buyer to make an informed decision to purchase the property without physically seeing it. Okay, so photo instructions. Using a smartphone or camera, take photos to showcase the property from many different angles of the exterior and interior and also to show the nature of any work needed. And then it lists some bullets here. Only one picture is needed of the same thing or angle. Delete the duplicates. Make sure the resolution is high enough to take quality images. Take pictures during the day and images need to be well lit. Take pictures from each corner to provide every angle. For example, a bedroom should have five pictures, each corner and the ceiling. Pictures to include, and then it lists out here a whole bullet point list. The neighbors and street, house to the left, house to the right, house across the street. From the street, take a picture down the road each way. And then the exterior, straight on facing the house, left side, right side, back side, which is the backyard facing the back of the house. The backyard, so you stand at the back door and take a picture of the backyard the roof, the front and back, garage, all four sides and roof if it's detached, any sheds or porches, the driveway, close up of the windows, and then we get into the interior, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, living room, dining, formal room, hallways, stairways, basement and attics, any other rooms like dining rooms, office, laundry, etc. Now it goes to the damaged items. Include a specific image of any and all obvious and visible damage or broken items including cracks in the driveway or sidewalk, drywall dents or holes, water stains, mold, missing plugs and switch covers or light fixtures, damaged doors and trim, cracked windows, stained carpet or damaged flooring, foundation cracks, etc. Anything that may need repaired if the house were to be completely renovated. There is no judgment here. Do not skip something as it will come up eventually. Please be as detailed as possible. So the next thing on the list is mechanicals. The furnace, hot water heater, electrical meter and breaker box, AC units and air handlers, appliances, dishwasher, microwave, fridge, stove, washer, dryer, water softener, sump pumps. So it covers that, specifically those items. Then the video instructions. Using the smartphone or camera, take video to illustrate the floor plan without editing so that I can see the property and also the flow. While filming, explain each item or room and what you think of the condition, if it needs fixed or not. Okay, so here's a bullet list of the things they need to do. Take video during the day and make sure video is well lit. Walk slowly and hold steadily. Avoid shaky camera syndrome. Pan left to right and up and down slowly, not too fast where it can't be seen clearly. While walking slowly, video without stopping to see the layout. For example, while recording, walk in the front door. Pan slowly left, right, up and down then continue walking through the living room and into the kitchen, etc. If using a smartphone, always take video with camera recording in horizontal position, not vertical. Talk and explain while filming. This helps the viewer understand more what is being filmed. Okay, so again, just more detail about what you're looking for. Once ready to record, 
Start outside facing the front of the house at the street. Do a slow 360 turn showing the neighbors. Walk around the entire house showing close-ups of roof, windows, garage, backyard, front yard. Remember to zoom back out so that the viewer can see from afar as well as close up. Walk in the front door while filming. Walk through the entire house explaining the rooms, flow, work needed. Be sure to point out the mechanicals, electrical box, water heater, AC furnace, etc. Don't skip over anything ugly or things that look bad. Show it all. Then uploading pics and video. Pics and video are to be uploaded onto a photo video sharing website. This will allow you to submit a link to the pictures and video instead of large files. Here are two popular file sharing programs and it gives you Google and Dropbox. And so that helps them be able to upload that and provide that to you. So again, all of this is broken down here into explicit detail. I just went through all of that with you. If you'd like a copy of these instructions so that you can provide to your photographer, or the seller directly, I'll give this to you for free because no one gives away more free tools and resources than me. I'll put the download link in the description below. All I ask in return is that you leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. Now let me take a minute and explain how and when to best use this. Once you're on the phone with a seller who is interested in selling, at that point, they're interested in selling but you haven't seen the property yet and you have no idea of the condition. Here's what to do. First, follow my pre-closed sale process where you commit the seller over the phone to a ballpark sale price contingent upon seeing the condition. Now this is very important because you wanna make sure you and the seller are in the same ballpark on price. Now I did a video explaining exactly how to do this, including all of my word for word scripts so that you know how to position and posture yourself. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. But assuming that the seller is interested in selling his house at your ballpark price, the next step is to do your virtual property walkthrough. Now, if you plan on sending a freelance photographer to the property, say the following to the seller. Mr. Seller, here's what needs to happen next. I'm gonna send my guy out to the property to do a quick walkthrough and take photos and video so that I can finalize my offer. He only needs to be there for like 20 or 30 minutes tops. After that, I have a simple agreement for you to approve and then we can schedule a closing. Now, I'll need you to give him access to the property. Does today at 3 p.m. work for you? Pro tip here, don't send the photographer and pay 50 bucks if you don't first pre-sell on the phone and get the seller to agree at your ballpark number. Otherwise, there's a good chance you'll waste 50 bucks. If due to coronavirus or for whatever reason you can't send someone to the property or you don't wanna send someone to the property, maybe you didn't pre-sell on the phone with the seller and instead you want the seller to do the photos and video walkthrough, say the following. Mr. Seller, the only thing I need at this point to give you a concrete offer is to see the condition of the property and the neighborhood. For this, I need your help to provide me detailed pictures and video. Don't worry, you can use your smartphone. I have an instruction sheet I can email you right now explaining exactly what I need. If you can follow that closely, then I'll have everything I need to finalize my offer. Is that something you are willing to do for me right now? Great, once you get that to me within the hour, I'll email you a simple agreement for you to approve and then we can schedule a closing. Is there a chance that the seller doesn't follow the instructions or takes crappy pictures and video? Yeah, it happens all the time. Be patient and tell him what you're missing or ask him to do it over. Is there a chance the seller intentionally or unintentionally leaves something out? Yeah, that could happen, but it's pretty hard if they give you photos and video of everything on your instruction sheet. And don't forget, not only are you gathering this information so that you can make an informed decision on your offer, but also to provide to your cash buyers if and when you get a contract with the seller. In most cases, your photo and video album of the property will be far more detailed and extensive than anything your cash buyers have ever seen before from other wholesalers. Having said that, there are two things you need to do to virtually wholesale with 100% integrity. First, disclose everything you know about the property, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you know about it, you have a moral, ethical, and in many cases, a legal obligation to disclose. I recently did a video series about a deal I was working on and a seasoned wholesaler tried to blatantly scam me on a deal by not disclosing vital information about the property. Luckily, I caught it and exposed him. Now, if you wanna see an eye-opening video, be sure to watch it, link in the description. And the second tip to virtually wholesale with integrity is to disclose what you don't know. In other words, tell your cash buyers that you have not personally seen the property and then disclose how and who provided you the photos and video. 
Ultimately, your cash buyer will need to do whatever due diligence they need to feel comfortable with buying the property, but the more information and details you provide, the easier it is for them to pull the trigger on your deal. Once it's time to execute a contract with the seller, you don't need to meet the seller in person. Use a digital contract with electronic signatures. And this is actually a standard feature with my wholesaling and house flipping deal management system called Flipster. Using my proven contracts, you can quickly create, save, and manage all of your offers. Within minutes, you can have it emailed to the seller for him to sign digitally on his smartphone or computer. By the way, if you've never heard of Flipster, it's a cloud-based, all-inclusive system to help you organize, streamline, and automate all of the steps to wholesaling and flipping houses. And what's so cool is me and thousands of other wholesalers and flippers have been using Flipster to do deals virtually from home for years. Now with COVID, Flipster went from a nice to have to a must have. And right now we're creating an entire COVID training center while we'll be putting all of the tools and resources and training you need to adapt and adjust due to the impact of COVID on the real estate market. Now, if you're serious about wholesaling and flipping in the new Corona economy, you owe it to yourself to check out Flipster. To learn more and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. Okay, so if you have Flipster or another digital contract software, email it to the seller where he can digitally sign it. If you're watching this during the COVID crisis, be sure to use my COVID addendums, which address all of the concerns and contingencies you need to still do deals. I did a video where I explained how to use these addendums and also will give them to you for free. I'll put the link to that video and the free download link in the description below. At this point, you've successfully locked up a contract with a seller virtually without you having to personally go to the property. But as you know, that's only half the game to wholesaling. Now you have to find a cash buyer, but we are out of time. Be on the lookout for more videos about how to find cash buyers virtually during COVID. And again, if you'd like my virtual property walkthrough guide for free, the download link is in the description. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got several new videos I'm working on right now to help you adjust and adapt your wholesaling and flipping business during the COVID epidemic. You can find all of those videos in a special playlist here on my channel so that you don't miss them. Link in the description. Now my goal is to stay one step ahead and be your most trusted resource. Remember, the most successful investors adapt quickly to market changes. Make sure that's you and I'll see you on the next video.